Ken was great to me. I, I didn't know faces in 1987. In the afternoon, I remember that they, the panel actually watched the show in the afternoon, write their comments down so they know exactly what they're going to see, what they're going to talk about in the night time. Ken was there. And uh, there was Ken, Nina Mishkov and Lindsay DePaul on the heat that I'd done. And uh, I did the spot and then went to makeup. And Ken came in and sat down next to me and had his makeup done at the same time. Oh, well, it's Ken Dodd there. It's Ken Dodd. It's a living legend. And uh, he said, oh, it's very good this afternoon, son. Can I give you some advice? So I said, yeah. And he put this pa- paper, he had his paper in his pocket and he got it out and he'd written down my whole act that I'd done that afternoon. He rewrote the whole thing. Don't start with that one. Do this. That's, that's an old joke. Then get rid of that. Do that there. When you get the rabbit out of the hat, don't throw it away. Shove it down your trousers. Shake out the bottom of your leg. Extra laugh there. When you do this, wait there because there's another hidden laugh there. You won't expect this. But trust me, if you wait long enough, you'll get another laugh there. When you do that, throw that out. Do this trick instead. And he rewrote the whole act. And, uh, and I won the heat, uh, thanks to Ken. What is great about you, though, is the fact that you were prepared to listen. So many people would have gone, no, no, I know what I'm doing. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing now. Uh, you've always got to listen, especially to somebody like Ken. Doug Ken's a genius, he is. The people that uh, I've learned from, still learning from, you know, one of, uh, uh, they know they've done it all their life. They've spent their life holding this craft, you know. Uh, um, it was amazing inspiration uh, to me and to not just me, but a whole generation. All, all comics nowadays, like, you know, I got to know Ken Dog quite well in the last few years and he rates you as one of the funniest people in this country now. And Ken doesn't like a lot of people in comedy. That must be a great honour and a thrill for you to have someone as popular and as successful as him thinking that about you because that must mean that when you're as old as he is in your 120s that you'll still be gigging and gagging it's a great compliment coming from Ken um, he, he stopped me smoking as well whenever I start, saw Ken he'd, uh, he'd pat me down like he was a customs officer and he'd get me fags you're not still smoking these bloody things are you I kill you and uh, and every time I used to think oh god when I knew I was going to see Ken like you know I must have my fags on me and eventually you know he just talked me into it and I, I, I stopped because of Ken just getting on at me about it all the time really yeah he is amazing bloke. I've got no idea how old Ken is um, his hair I don't know his hair must be 200 years old <laughs> but I don't know how he does that with his hair it's amazing it's like it's like a great big tuft of grass when you play <laughs> golf. It just lifts off, right? If he's a, I don't know, you know, he could go para, paragliding. He could get a little rope on him. That air, yeah, they get a bit of wind behind it. It take off. Uh, yeah, it is great, and I don't know how to react to that really. From from Ken Dodd saying that about me, I'm over the moon. If we could decipher what it is about Ken or myself that people will come to see, if we could write that down, and and anybody could learn that, we'd never have to work again, Ken or myself. I don't know why. I've never never seen myself on a screen in my life I won't watch it because I always think you watch yourself and there'll be a little bit about what you do that you'll hate and if you hate it you'll change it and the only way to change it is to change it the way somebody else does it and that little bit you hate may be that little bit the public love you for so don't analyse if it works if people come to see you and they laugh then then keep doing it and you there's no way you can work out what will make people laugh at home you just got to try it on stage and do it and see what the response is, and the response is the yardstick for that for that for everything, you know. Ken is totally different to me. Ken does about six hours, and when they go and have a drink and they chat about it and they laugh about it, it's fresh in their mind. They've had a laugh in the pub and they've talked about the gags and what happened and what didn't happen, and they've had a laugh. But the next morning, that show seems even better than what it was. It's a bit of a psychology, really, Alex. You know. I love the jokes. I-